The game starts long before the game starts. And warm hands are faster hands. Gain the upper hand and power up your pregame warm up with Zippo hand warmer. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Valorant Challengers North America Stage 1. One match of the day is done. 2-0 in favor of MXS. Now for the other powerhouse team over here in Group A. It's Oxygen Esports going up against <laughs> YFP. And I mean... Vans, there are power teams for a reason. Oxygen, they took the loss early on to MXS, but it was a close match. It's one that in the past, they've definitely traded back and forth. So going in today, YFP definitely has their work cut out for them. Yeah, 100%. And I, I almost feel bad that the first game that OXG had to play was against MXS, one of the other top three teams. And, you know, that conversation of who's going to be that best team going into the uh, going at the end of the five weeks. I hope it was going to be later on for that match. So you can continue with that storyline. But already o Oxygen Gaming kind of like came out of that series, losing that one to MXS. And then the story around that was like going to be, are they actually that good? Can they do that well? And Yes, they can. <laughs> they own, and they also own last week against Together We Are Terrific. So that was actually super nice to see how uh, Oxygen are just able to perform very, very well. And there's, uh, you know, uh, not necessarily an excuse, but a reason is to see why, you know, the, the, the they're considered to be one of those top threes. Yeah, we got to see kind of the other half of we just cast a TWT trying to have like a, a bounce back after getting absolutely crushed by Oxygen, who are, I think, well on their way to proving that they're just the best in the group by far. Maybe could try to contend for being at the top of challengers. But this is just an all over. You could pick so many stars on this team. But what I love about Oxygen is that they're all good as a unit. Yeah, well, let's talk about the teams, the units, and the stars themselves pull up the rosters for these teams. Because I think it's really no surprise when you're looking at this Oxygen Esports roster that this roster does have a lot of stars. Players that we even saw last year in Challengers and perform really, really well when you're looking at players like the Youngbloods, Inverno, and Redux. And there's a lot of fire, like strong firepower over on YFPs and two vans. My thing is, is Oxygen Esports as this core have been together for longer. And for YFP, I'm still waiting for everything to click more so on the higher level. And this is definitely going to be a tough one for them. That's exactly it, too. Uh, when you're looking at the team, a team rather, like YFP, you're like, okay, well, they've grinded through open qualifiers as a group. And to make it this far as a group, that's actually quite nice to see. But it did go through some roster changes towards, you know, the, the early uh, end of the season when uh, Thief was actually uh, dropped, unfortunately, by MXS and now picked up a YFP. So that may change a little bit of like how you're approaching the maps, how you're approaching the compositions and try to iron that out to make that work. Uh, although, unfortunately, at this point, you're moving in at week number four here for YFP. So, you know, time's pressing pretty much at this point. So you're hoping at least for this week, you've figured something out, but you're also having to play against Oxygen that continue to be so, so, so strong from uh, beginning to the end. I think Lemon Kiwi, when she mentions like everybody's so good as a unit, you have the entry fraggers, you have anchor players, you have people that are able to run great utility for you to capitalize off on as a duelist. Like they really have the A to Z of what is a successful team here uh, in challengers over at Valorant. And you mentioning how Thief got picked up is just interesting because I feel like there's really talented pieces on YFP that are still trying to be assembled into that puzzle. While I feel like that puzzle has already been built and it is working for Oxygen, their only loss is to the number one team in their group of Moist Shopify. Uh, and other than that, Oxygen have been doing well. It's YFP that are on a downward slope, but this is all a learning experience. But that learning experience is only mm -hmm. two weeks away from ending, so... Yep. Yeah, we're, we're definitely chugging along. And if we're going to reflect back on the changes that were happening to the team getting into this, then we have to first start talking about Dapper of Oxygen as well. Of course, when you're looking at Oxygen Esports, there naturally was going to be a change in the off season, considering assistant coach Rustin had stepped in. So Dapper was that pickup. And it was definitely, I was curious to see how well of a fit he was going to be headed into this. And I think last week, Vans, was actually a really, really good performance coming out from him. 
Yeah, and I think even overall, when you're looking at, uh, you know, the redemption arc that you currently have, the opportunities to really come back and compete here with Dapper, because even in the offseason, when, you know, he had interviews over at, like, let's say, like the SOAR offseason event or in there, uh, the Sean Garris, like, it definitely looked like he had a head on his shoulders. He's ready to compete and is taking this very, very seriously. And yes, it showed last week. He was owning. He had five first bloods somehow here uh, on the defense of Ascent. And four of those kills were actually against Will. So again, it's not really against how he's able to it's not more on will but more on how dapper is really able to get around like certain situations where he could actually capitalize on although we currently talk about jonah right now on the on the okay not anymore but at least later later leaks, about, leaks, <laughs> leaks, so i was gonna try friends. to do the transition there but it's all good it's all good but so so now we have a chance to continue to talk about dapper a bit before uh that that slide comes up but for him to, it, it kind of shows how good he is in these moments where not he doesn't necessarily always have to play slight but also on a on a killjoy to understand where the spacing is going to be taken by the duelist where he could position himself to get not only a one and done but get multiples on top of that as an anchor player he's he's basically one of those players uh right now that's not necessarily on the come up but definitely a, a sentinel that you could uh look forward to and base your type of play style if you're inspiring to be a very good sentinel player there's definitely some good tape that you can learn out of dapper's place Hundred percent, and well, you know, there is a little bit of a leaks there, um, Vans. I'll do the transition <laughs> for you. Don't worry. But uh, when we're looking at Dapper and what he's accomplished so far, I'm looking over at Jonah Six over on the opposing end here. And when we're looking at Jonah Six, this is someone who has been grinding through the scene and is honestly a player that I've always been really, really excited to see. Definitely someone who can be holding his own out there. And when I'm looking at this match, when you do have such a strong team and oxygen, I think a lot of this does come down to Jonah Six Lemon to really be holding down the fort. Yeah, Jonah, he's that guy. I remember when he was on OR Esports or OR Esports, fighting through relegation with well-known challengers names like Nilly or Zeldris or Pancakes. Um, so Jonah knows how to fight from the brink of defeat and, and to climb from the bottom and, and to rise atop on top uh, and just to come out of those ashes and to try and uh, make something out of nothing and that is sort of the situation yfp are in right now they're on a two loss streak uh against core and twt which should be winnable this is kind of the middle to the bottom half so if they're struggling against those type of teams i'm worried about yfp and especially jonah and what kind of impact they can have against oxygen but i definitely think jonah has to be the ace to, to turn this game around I will give YFP some credit too, because uh, yes, when you see on paper, O2 lost to court, you're like, oh no, like what's happening <laughs> over here? It was also a 14-16 loss over on Sunset, which is definitely a little, a little bit of a tough blow there that definitely could have been a map three situation. But for YFP, you're definitely right. We're kind of getting into the later part of the season here to where mm -hmm looking for kind of things to be clicking together. I do think that it's a tough road ahead of them, but if I could see a good fight coming out here, kind of like how we saw at TF, um, TWT, they didn't win, but they did have a good fight up against MXS. I'd be at least excited for the future of this team here. But for this series, I want to head over to our map picks and bands, see where this best of three mm. is going to be taking us for today. The bands, I hear just a solid, hmm, coming out. Is that because of this map pool here? Well, no, I'm saying because I had no idea. So I'm just trying to figure out what would be coming out. <laughs> okay, never mind, out of that. never mind. So, yeah, so so uh, like I was actually really, I wasn't even looking at what the vetoes were. I'm just trying to figure out and absorb it as we go. So Sunset being in this one, at least being picked by YFP, I guess I could definitely see that right now uh, as to why we currently have that pick. Yes, despite it being a loss against Core, as you mentioned here, Sierra, it's a 14 to 16 loss that they've uh, suffered against Core. But at the same time, it really allows for you to really iron out of like, this is what we actually did very well here on this map and you're playing against a team like oxygen esports where the play style could be fairly similar uh to a team uh like like core but at the same time it, it allows for you to, to just maximize your own type of game and what you're trying to bring into the map and if you've ran uh 30 rounds on that map then you definitely i would assume you would pull out the same composition and then just try to min max that 
Uh, I'm excited for this split. Oxygen have picked this before. They uh, lost very closely, though, to Moist Shopify in week one on split, 13 to 10. Very standard stuff. Uh, that's the Astra and the Viper as the double controller of choice with some Sky there. I wonder if that's going to make a return. Sunset YFP have picked this back-to-back uh, -back against Core and TWT. Going close to TWT. Going close against Core 16 to 14, as you said. So I think these are good comfort picks to start out with um but oxygen i just wonder how much of a dent in their armor can they take after mm. the the decimation that we saw from them last week against yep. dwt i feel like too keep saying oh i want to see like how how well yfp can stack up against them i want to see good things here but i do want to see when we're looking at oxygen esports how like how this win goes because when we're looking at mxs we talked about the fact too that hey this team isn't infallible right they can take losses we can definitely see things kind of shake up whether it's communication breaking down or another team kind of getting the best of them and for oxygen esports that's just something that i want to be looking at going forward as well how well they're winning if we are chalking this up to being more oxygen favored because i think that's what really should be important here vans when we're looking at those top three teams and determining who is the best of the best. Yeah, I think in the end is how well they're winning. We already know the answer of that too, right? When, especially if you're going into the first map, if you have Scuba playing over uh, on Astra, you kind of know what he brings to the table as well on that map. Again, from A to Z, what Midge could do as a support role, what Dapper does as a Sentinel, what Redux could do in creating space. Like overall, this team already, we already understand what makes them very, very good. I think it's more on the opposite side because it's such an underdog story here for YFP and even for myself, when I went towards the predictions of teams in like week number one, week number two, I had good faith into YFP because again, they were a team that really stuck through the thick and thin of making it through open qualifiers to this moment. So adding Thief for me was like adding extra firepower for this team, which then means if you could iron out a little bit of that, it's more on like how can YFP actually turn it or turn it around in their favor, but also come up with new things or actually that synergy that maybe could upset OHG today. Oh, well, I'm excited to see if they've managed to figure something out. Because if we can, if they can surprise me on this one, I'd be so happy. <laughs> we know they have the firepower. Let's just see it out here on the server. Agent Select is ready, so I'm going to send you two off. I'll see you later. <laughs> awesome. Great. Cool. Wow. And we're going to split, which we haven't even seen YFP on, at least in Challengers yet. We got a Reyna? That's cool. Yeah, I'm actually really down with this too. And if, if I'm not mistaken, they're also the team that will run a Reyna on like Icebox or something like that uh, uh, as well. And maybe even double duelist with a Reyna and a Jet, which I'm not uh, I'm not against that because Penny could actually... Actually, what I find more interesting is that it's Penny playing the Reyna and not Bones playing the Reyna so that Penny can create space as a raise. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing Bones now, what he could bring up, uh, what he could to bring to the table rather with a raise um because if you're looking at this lineup usually if there's going to be a rain in a comp you think it'd be thief because of the experience he's had in the past with that so overall i i still find that they have a great way to try to min max again against what oxygen has where they haven't changed anything on their sides in, in terms of composition so avoiding spreading out the 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 utility here being used by scuba and dapper on a defense could be quite nice but uh, the unfortunate thing is, is that YFP is starting on the defensive side first. Um, so they have to try to maybe find ways to fight more aggressively against these lurks that you currently have from Oxygen. So we'll have to we'll have to see once we get into server. It's just cool that YFP have so many retake options when it comes to utility. You got Rain Alir, Paranoia from Thief, Guiding Light, Dog, like raise bones just jumping in like feels like yfp have a lot of break-in potential so this comp will be exciting for yfp on the defense but oxygen this is what they've played before uh, you know their offensive potential will be a lot behind mitch and he had a great performance last week too he's always finding valuable guiding lights to set yeah. up someone like redux for success who as a young player one of the youngest in challengers gets to look as incredible as he does because oxygen are a team that enable each other everyone is selfless redux looks like the goat and oxygen heading up. towards b at least, At least to least start, it's right? A three, two split. The, yeah, exactly. The spice still towards the A side, and you see from YFP, we mentioned that they wanted to fight uh, against Lurks a little bit more. They have Very both quiet, their duelists playing. Oxygen. 
of the spike the over angle. at A, and no initial peek out of this YFP on this defense. But YFP just playing very close to that A ramp too, having two ready there. It kind of a little scary if they get hit by any util, but oxygen ready for their push. And they got a minute mark to work with right now, right? So Physics still has another flash to work with, but he's playing super passively. So they're going to play off contact here. Nice double dinks to start things off. And Bolts might catch some players off guard. All of them are trying to move towards the A side, and Bolts trying to find a timing. Oh my god, Bones is just left spraying at the ramp and collects one and oxygen of... He thought it broken through that wall, and now with the smoke at top of heaven, oxygen safely establishing themselves. Planting at the corner, making sure they keep their eyes on heaven. But this flank around from YFP through the ramp have to deal with Scuba. And it's an easy job. And YFP wrapping still around. Oxygen adjusts their position. Nice. This gets early shots in. Fizz is looking behind like, what are you, what are you guys up to? Now with the guiding light, Fizz has been exposed and he's out in the open. Mitch on the other side, Last swing turns on Redux. Ooh. Three and four for Fizz to get pistols to YFP. That is nicely done by Physic, but at the same time, there's a lot of shenanigans happening in this map. First off, every week Dapper is just gonna be called Knights Observer number nine. What is that? Just be Dapper, bro. <laughs> we we did mention the the off angles being played by that double duelist here on that A ramp, and it's it's their goal right now to fight against the lurk. But it feels like for YP, they weren't ready for it to be a re hit towards that A site with a five player death ball. Uh, at least on that end, before falling down, Penny was able to do enough damage. Damage, uh, against their opponents right now, which really allowed this this flash to come through from Physic to come across to get the 4k in around, getting very close to uh, at least the the seekers into their bonus round. If they can convert this anti eco, they're in a great spot right now. So OXG trying to fight as a group, playing contact on top mid, and Jonah Six actually anticipates this is already falling back. Slow, quiet, steady as oxygen. Or Not even being minute. smoked off. Oh, but there's a sheriff knocking. It's oxygen. Just putting shots into vents, seeing who would emerge, who would be ready to swing it. He'd be up against the entirety of oxygen. So good patience out of someone like Bones. Wants to play off the cross with Bones, or sorry, not with himself, but with his fellow teammate of Shona at B staircase. So oxygen will pivot towards B entry. Mm. Guiding light. Ready to from Mitch. Orb will be tapped and no peeking from YFP either. Yep. <laughs> Tap picked up. Redux is at three. I was saying hmm because I saw some Sentinels classic. So this might be an eco in favor of OXG. <laughs> They're going to work as a group. Re hit as a death ball towards the site. Jonah has to have a perfect timing here. The smoke could dissipate. He puts a snake bite on the ground and then YFP wins the round because everybody's going to get left. decayed. Oh, paranoia ready to out of Thief. Gonna throw it down and wow, Arch should get all remaining. split up. So all the kills go Bones' way, who's Flanking. behind them. Yep. So <laughs> great flank. <laughs> yeah, every everything was perfectly red towards the end as well. The aggression that came through and after controlling and seeing that there was no real pressure with 30 seconds left on the clock, it seems as though he understood that nobody was gonna try to take Vents control, take heaven control, and just death ball out of any extremity. So he gambled that it was gonna be a, a hit towards the B site and read that perfectly to get that trip kill in the end. So very nicely done on their side, which then also puts Bones very close to a showstopper. But unfortunately, uh, they have a much lower buy in their bonus against the full rifle round of OXG. They have no ult to work with to really try to play a retake. So now it's close in the gap staying close as a group and closing that gap is players playing close towards the a ramp there's penny there with the vandal there's physic playing long range with a specter to help out and flash for support but they're really trying to shut down any type of early lurks out of oxg uh on this split map yeah oxygen better watch their backs this time that was a nasty flank out of bones just now but or well last Boys round i should say but <laughs> Now for the bonus, uh, okay. That's an early pick for Verno on someone who, well, why if you like to descend those ramps and play aggressive in that regard, but Oxygen not feeling like they could carve their way, not with smokes in their way, so they'll go through sewers to join their friend watching over A, but pushing up all the way to Orb too is Penny with a leer. Yeah. I mean, he wants to play this off angle, right? He wants to get a pick and dismiss. 
because you're going to try to play contact if you don't have your uh, your scar with you. So this could potentially become a kill, and unfortunately, he cannot. He's forced to fall back. 30 seconds left. Oh, he's still trying to challenge. You don't know how many people are on the other side and almost got away with more murder. But Oxygen, now that that Reyna is clear, so is the rest of A. Plant will ensue. Mitch is jumping around, seeing who's at the back of of the site mitch gets a big old hug from bones and the retake Ooh. ensues by yfp taking everybody's names but all in a corner and sitting in heaven watching this happen is dapper redux in a corner exposed can boom bot and plate around this wall play around the corner but didn't play safe enough but maybe something for dapper to clutch up with in a one versus one Spike being tapped there by Jonah going through the smoke and oh, Dapper gets all types of mixed up and Jonah will clutch for YFP. What a sick bonus round there for YFP and that's just some simple things. I mean, trying to get your one and done as a penny. I love that he pushed out against that one versus two because just behind his ears, he hurt the rappel. He hurt the satchels. He hurt the flashes coming out from vents. So he's pretty much trying to get his one and done, almost getting a two for that. But that really allows for YFP to set up for the retail in the end when they just flash double satchel you see now why bones is playing this raise closes the gap gets the kill with the specter and then they just death ball as a group and played those trades and played the timings perfectly on their side where oxg was not ready for that at all so already they're um forced to play with a lower buy in round number four yfp although it seems that like we converted here a bonus round we still have enough money for oxg again because of these plan situations that we've gotten in the last few rounds and they're trying to work on middle. Jump spot to actually see one. And Bones is trying to just spray across, trying to find a timing, and he'll get it. Ooh. Spike down What's mid. bitch doing over there? And Bones throws the showstopper right in the opposition's face. Redux even had one of his own in YFP. Off to a great start, commanding that mid control. And Mitch left the spike in the worst place possible. Yeah, that's that's actually unfortunately a small little error too. But Redux usually good at dodging showstoppers and Bones' mistake on the satchel ended up being a great way to actually capitalize on the kill and now picking up even more. It's going to make it difficult for the last two players with the force buy that we've gotten here from OXG. Well, again, because they, they had these plants, they're trying to buy around these vandals and, and, and bulldogs or whatever economy they have left. And all they have left now is a bulldog and a vandal to work the next round around the Cosmic Divine. 30 seconds left. Well, we were hyping up Jonah and that whole mid control. You can thank Jonah for it with the poison clouds that come up and, and the walls. It's just oxygen really want that power position of mid to give them themselves an a option or a b option because oxygen have lost now two post plants off of trying to get left. a done and yfp just being better at holding those power positions around the map whether it's mid whether it's top of heaven of a yeah, it did come down to a 1v1 last round but Oxygen are trailing now even further against YFP. And especially you have a flawless round there, won by YFP. That economy is building up. And this is this is almost looking at last week when MXS was really playing against Together were Terrific. And then it was like a one-sided affair to start things off here for uh, the opponents, right? The favorites are always trailing behind at this point. And now we have an early timeout being called out by Babar and they could try to... Uh, figure things out here on uh, on on their attack again this is a timeout that you want to utilize uh, into your next round unless as we mentioned there was a, a cosmic divide with the two rifles that they save there's still an opportunity to try to create space with a showstopper on top of that to really try to salvage that and I, I like this call because now it gives you an opportunity to, uh, to maybe try to talk that through and see if you want to gamble off around these ults to try to capitalize on a round it feels like oxygen because they have less options of like initiating or initiators and flashes to go in or yeah. like a leer or something compared to the other side. They depend on Mitch or they depend on making noise and trying to bait YFP into peeking, which they haven't. So it forces oxygen to panic and have to maneuver through the smoke, which now with Thief and of course Jonah, it's just a lot for oxygen to have to break through. And that the timing on these swings has to be perfect too. Yeah. So Oxygen really had to talk through of like what positions on the map do they want to take and how do they just go back to the drawing board. And sorry, I met a, a timeout here by Bonkar, not Babar. It's got my 
my B's confused <laughs> here in terms of, co- of of coaches. But at that point here, yes, indeed, what Oxygen can really do here. And as they're not really grouped together, it doesn't maybe feel like they're trying to use these ults to, to try to get things done. Uh, you're trying to create a lot of, of noise here on this A site and maybe they capitalize on a pick here from Redux, who's lurking solo on mid to start things off. And if they get that pick, this could be an easy up A ramp to B control where maybe they could use a showstopper. So there's a lot of layers that you see that's being built up here for Oxygen Gaming. It just depends on an if A then B type of um, plotting that you have here. And that's first blood that they need in their favor. I'm just, yeah. The early trailblazer out of mint, or sorry, out of physic. You know, at least one person was there. Didn't draw rotations out of YFP quite yet. And usually YFP have someone sitting in ramp. So now it's free ramp control out of oxygen. YFP just play, playing off their Viper wall, hoping to just swing at the right time as oxygen have made their way up into heaven. Stomping down is the trailblazer of Mitch. Good establishment. On to heaven, but now entering sight is a whole different thing. Showstopper from Redux, Verno with the assist to as Oxygen in a good place to get the plant and maybe even succeed on the post plant. You got the star you got seekers. of Scuba at the top. And Oxygen have YFP pinned in heaven. Yeah, and after that plant, they also have seekers. So if they actually need to hit the emergency break at some point are losing players. You can use Seekers to get information on the last two. But we could definitely see here in our point of view that YFP, the last two players, are going to attempt to save their weapons. And that's exactly what we're trying to talk about, like the if A, then B type of thing. And because YFP were playing so passively towards the A site after the initial engagement that Verno tried to get a pick towards A main, you left A site open. You left your players spread out. You got... You got spotted out by a trailblazer, which then allowed Oishi not only to close the gap on distance against you on sight, but also again leverage Showstopper to guarantee also plant. So you you played basically not to lose here for YFP, and guess what? You lost that round because you didn't want to try to fight aggressively against the lower buy that OXG had. So that's also a, the, the mind game that you have in terms of you know respecting your opponents too much at this point. A four zero scoreline should give you that confidence to fight, especially against an anti eco. Uh, or sorry, especially against a lower buy, uh, but they, they definitely realized that a little bit too late now that OEC has their first point on the board. I would have liked YFP rotating from B to A uh, a bit quicker, considering how long it takes to get over there. So Oxygen just win outnumbering them. Now not going to be an easy turn into ramp, but the boom bot from Bones came down just to sniff out who could be there from Oxygen. And they've, Oxygen have hit A like three out of the four times. So YFP have this stacked a bit better at A. I've but got Oxygen your trail. now pivoted. They've got the mid control that they've wanted. There's the Seekers from Mitch. Jonah gonna be in trouble. Put Snake by and the smoke's down, but the flash from Oxygen is too good. But as they came out to, through the heaven ramp, Oxygen got traded out and YFP have re-anchored themselves on the B site. All thanks to someone like Keith, the smoke goes down and Scuba, enough damage put in as Oxygen can live now off of the three versus three with the spike plane and cosmic divide at the door how do they get through this it's going to be difficult now that the pit came out though at least they have a uh, high heavens control satchel across that's spotted by scuba too easy too easy scuba's just in b main watching this all unfold too so even if yp take the extremities oxygen have those covered too so yp will play on their half physic and penny Last he needs to deal with standing. scuba, but that works out. And they deal with the pit, but time is running out for Physic and Penny. Oh! And Verno turns up to two! The Zippo clutch for Oxygen! You can't discount Verno in the clutch. And yes, it may surprise you to see him in this role instead of Dapper, because Dapper is usually that Sentinel player that we gas up. But on a roll like this... Verno, when you don't really need to play double initiator on a map like split, Verno could definitely hold that role to play the last anchor LMS as a killjoy, as a lurk to win it for the team. And that definitely looked like it was YFP's round all along from A to Z towards the end. 
But well done there to keep the dream alive for OXG. And now we finally see the timeout coming through. What they're going to leverage out of the timeout that was called out by Bonkar. And it's very fast hits towards the A-side control, damaging your opponents at the same time, and also forcing out an early heal. Wow. Now it's YFP. Obscuring vision. Peeking and being drawn out of their safe positions. Usually YFP have played very safe around mid, thinking all that noise at A meant this would be a flank opportunity for YFP, but... At least that gets traded out, that gets found out by Oxygen. As they still set their sights for A, but pushed up ramp. And Heaven 2 is Redux, who has Mitch That's right behind him down. with one flash. And YFP have slowed things down. They have the Reina of Penny in the corner. They got Physic on site. Not a bad setup out of YFP. <sighs> I mean, and Thief has from the shadows. So. It's actually tough. That this is this is a decent crossfire setup, but you're all in one and dones. And if you're running into this site here, and they get perfect trades, unless this happens, there you go. Right now, back site physic has to come up huge. Thirty seconds left. Those left or right, and couldn't flick fast enough. The late rotate from Thief, not using it from the shadows. I thought to get involved a bit earlier, but. Silver lining is that maybe they don't know where Thief is. It's Oxygen clearing the top of sight. Scuba watching their back. Now looking at Heaven, no idea, but Scuba is just better. And Oxygen are on their way back into the picture. Yeah, and th when you were looking at the position that YFP had at a player disadvantage, yes, they were like in these one and dones, but the goal that they were trying to do was hopefully win so many of these duels that you're forcing players to rotate out from A having to B. And that's why Thieves stay posted out at the bottom B side or bottom mid side. So you'll be able to catch easy kills from players rotating out of sewers, rotating out of vents towards B. But again, they had to come down to players really set up in a perfect spot here on the A side to anchor but from the position that you saw from penny at the at the bottom of uh, of hell pretty much by fire pot now you're exposed from main you're exposed from heaven uh and then the guy in the back of map can really trade you out so every single time that oxg really got into the a site yes they lost the first initial duel but they always had one extra player one extra body to trade her back out and always have that player advantage all the way towards the end so now this is this is a big timeout here, this time for YFP. The first one that they're calling out to you because, again, they're they're playing a composition that doesn't have a Sentinel player. You don't have a hard anchor. So you have to be a little bit more active around the map. They attempt to do that to do that towards the mid side. They got denied right away by, I think it was Redux and also by Scuba uh, towards that side on mid. If they're trying to push out towards the A side, they had a little bit of success playing off angles and a little bit of success with Penny getting initial contact. But uh, I think those extremities is really that that answer that maybe that they're looking for at the beginning of these rounds. Maybe it's just a time up, a time out buff though. To Oxygen, they took a timeout, won three rounds in a row. Now it's YFP's turn. Early pin, past the game plan from Jonah, and pretty far forward too, allowing Penny to just spray anyone who would even think about going through top ramp. But it's an attacker's lockdown. So at least push the Viper out of the pit. And Oxygen now getting hit by a Judge Bone is such a menace going up the rope. Not a fun climb, but Oxygen have the spike. They're still committed to backing up Dapper, who's deep into the site, into heaven. He gets taken down, and Oxygen trickle in. With still the game plan being A, but not sure how to dislodge these backline members of YFP. Last player standing. And so Fight it goes, where it's just going to come down to gunfights, where Oxygen weren't set up for trades. Now the smoke is up, and Inferno is cut off from his own spikes. So now they snake by and everything on top. This is looking grim for our boy Verno in a 1v2. At least there's damage into Jonah, but a little bit tough. No util left from YFP to left. stop Verno, so there's that. Fortunately, you can't phase your hand through the wall and pick up the spike, but can try to look at every corner you can now needing to check ropes in the back of this box and see 
gets the kill and YFP continue the lead. That's the thing. When they were spraying initially through that smoke, he actually damaged Jonas down to 10 HP. So there was an opportunity for him there, especially that, that he isolated that 1v1 towards ropes to actually get another uh, clutch going through. But thankfully here for YFP, they changed the, the game plan a bit. They played a lot more aggressively. But instead of being pushing down towards lanes, they were faster on rotates. You saw that long hair, don't care kind of type of play style you saw from Bones <laughs> to get that pick to start things off uh, around the lockdown and never stop holding W and really did allow here OXG to get into position uh, around the lockdown that they used on the attack. So that was quite nice. A recall smoke, though. Thief almost got punished. That was an overextension there. But at least he got information. There's a lot of players now from OXG on this B side, and that initiates and gauges uh, a fast double rotate on top of B heaven here on the defense. I like this quicker rotate out of YFP. Maybe giving up some vision of mid that Oxygen would like to take in those situations where they force YFP to the extremities. Mm. That's where Oxygen benefit having up. an SMG of Dapper there, but Oxygen going to take all the map control they can, especially mid, to give them as many options as possible. And then, of course, Mitch, who still has a flash, is over to set up A. The thing is, is both of them, both players dropped into the B site and they flashed at the minute mark for YFP to try to get info and got nothing. So now you have to play with the paranoia of like, oh crap, where are they taking control here for OSG? Now you're turtled inside the site. They're guessing correctly, thankfully, there that they have three players towards B, but that's just noise for OXG. So those guys are going to stay posted there. You're going to split towards the, the site on a 3 2, and you're playing three players against two on YFP site on A. This is not looking to be a good spot here for the defensive side. All right, Empress from Penny. Ready to roll. Oxygen hoping to just overwhelm the defense in Five sheer numbers. Down. But there's 10 seconds and left, down. and Physic will not be moved. A 3k before he goes down, and Oxygen has to play it quickly, and Redux will do so in the smoke, and the paint shells right at his feet. But as soon as he emerges, Bones was ready to pick him off. What a deep, what a retake out of YP when finally those rotations came in fast enough. If anything, what a nice hold by the last two players. I just mentioned it was a five versus two inside that site for Penny <laughs> and for Physic. Yet they were able to, I think they threw a defensive smoke as well to try to uh, adapt to that at the same time. But for them to still be able to get three kills before the rest of them rotated across and leave the last player stranded pretty much where redux had to go for a plant with four point something seconds left and had to stick that plant that was such a huge dub there for yfp everything was read perfectly here for oxg and you kind of they read the site perfectly too but they just couldn't win they were they were separated when it came down to entering towards the a site and they got punished for it so that was that was super sick by yfp coming out of physic and of penny uh inside that a site yeah physic just the go the unstoppable anchor as a sky i guess <laughs> yep. oxygen back to their normal default where they would have liked to take mid and Consume it's it. usually been jonah that crux that will just not let him have it mitch with the flash trying to draw out yfp getting some info yfp gonna send down the boom bot just to see how close oxygen are and close enough bones ready for oxygen to come up that those stairs at any moment but it's a pivot to a and the pivot to a is once again still two players just anchoring up i guess gogiano that timeout just really trusted on how these defenders will play towards the a site and seekers is going to confirm the amount of players are trying to hit towards this a site oh my god <laughs> fire in the hole while the hole is in his forehead yep. redux just get just got caught Penny with the there. leer to reposition, left. hearing someone crawl up behind him in heaven. It's oxygen to have good power positions around, but how do you dislodge Physic? This was uh, an issue Oxygen had the last time they attempted this. But now that Verna was swinging out of heaven, Oxygen weren't ready to trade for that. So Oxygen kind of fumbled on their laces, left. now needing to get back into heaven. At least Mitch will take over that duty. There's just no time for Oxygen to uh, plant, so that was not well planned.
That is the issue. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. two rounds in a row here where you're working that map and then you're like, okay, well, we got like 20 seconds left. Let's try to work together here. Yes, they, they tried to leverage again the, the, the moment of the last second hit off this time. Um, utilities and ultimates, actually. You saw the Cosmic Divide come out, Showstopper 2. But again, it's these off angle positions coming out from both Penny and Physic inside the A site that really foils down OXG's last second hits. So I think they have to up the tempo this time around for OXG because right now they're not being really contested anywhere except into sites. So if you just want to tempo up, then you have 45 seconds instead to work inside the site. Then maybe get a plant through, right? But they, they still want to default around at this point. They want to make sure they're they're reading it correctly here that YFP is still sticking to the tried and true. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's continue to anchor our two players towards the A site and figure, figure out what happens. So can you punish somewhere else in a faster tempo now for OXG? Ooh. There. Ooh, I saw Oxygen oh wanting to capitalize off that boom bot that they throw they threw at Bones. Throws his own boom bot down just to either slow down or assess how close Oxygen were. And there was a scuffle at mid that didn't result in really any damage. So Oxygen will still try and be quiet, wait for more util to come up. Paint shells for Redux. Slowly peeking around and <laughs> Thief is ready with the paranoia too. To assist Bones as Oxygen want to have and take the lead with the Trailblazer. Oxygen solely but surely they get hit by a paranoia. But Mitch at least trades. And the snake bite randomly catches Mitch, who's maybe still on the mid staircase. Left. Spike left Poison behind, off. but Oxygen can recover this easily. But do they still want to commit to B? Based on where Scuba hey. is in B main, he is getting smoked off though, so it's a bit troublesome. It's all about timing for Oxygen. Didn't work out last round. Jonah gets pulled. And Oxygen needed to execute, and it's a bit left. messy, but not bad for Oxygen, who really like to wait until, like, the end of the time to play. Yeah, well, especially when the save by was thrown by Jonah and got a pick out of that one, and that's going to slow down the attack, but you're asking the question, are they going to hit B? I, I bet your ass they will, because they're getting denied on A site every single time, but yeah. here comes the A site rotate there from Physic and Penny. Still two Leers, Dog Flash, they have a lot of util here. Oxygen have to watch Heaven. Still looking at B main. And here's Penny ready for another Leer swing. Forces everyone into cover. Great reaction out of Oxygen to just play their lives. You just don't know how deadly Penny can be, especially on the Reina. But Oxygen clean it up. Very well done uh, towards the end there. Yes, indeed. Like when you move towards Last that uh, that B site half. and you're ever able to swarm through, you had a player advantage this time, finally in your favor for OXG. But I do agree with you. Like, I mean, look at those stain bites coming in from B site all the way towards mail. Beautifully done there by by uh, Jonah Six. But when, when it comes down to those moments of like, yeah, you have to try to maybe swarm somewhere new. Uh, if you're going to use those last 15 seconds, because those guys on the A side are really hitting all their shots, especially Penny. They avoided him. He's still not playing an op. He's just playing a Reina rifle, but being very, very good in that rule. So Oxygen, they, they understood that and they wanted to avoid it. And now they're, they're still trying to figure it out. Make control is the, the name of the game right now for Oxygen, where you're splitting out with those 20 seconds remaining. So at least for YFP, they're calling to put... Uh, to put Penny in mid to support on that side as well. So they might come into a surprise here for OHG. Jonah with the Jiggle Peak may be able to call some numbers in mid. And if you're going to throw the Seekers for mid, you want to be able to follow along with it. And mid, I mean, Oxygen have been cut off by smokes. Boom bots are slowing them down. So they really want to get full benefit out of Mitch's ult. And how about their duelist? Redux. I've got Double kill. Train. Just crushing through vents, finally drawing out YFP. There are the Boys Seekers. The they know mid is weak. Oxygen want to push off of that. They descend into ropes and onto A, Boys where that anchor of Physic has to go big again, Love but at least has dead. Thief. No paranoia, but some firepower that is still significant, but not enough. No, as I was mentioned for sure, when Dapper had Pushing that timing side. all the way towards spawn, so he was calling. It was there was no way Thief was make going to make it out of that alive, or even get a clutch going through against uh, Oxygen. That said, you salvage a five seven half as as you were trailing zero to four. You'll kind of take it here for OXG. Uh, although, like what what's been really good at least for how they took that mid take when 
You tried to do a surprise with Penny. It was a beautiful flash that's coming out from Mitch. At that point, if they're able to leverage that a little bit more for Oxygen Gaming, you might have a chance here to really fight against the heavy firepower that YFP is bringing out to play today. Uh, and again, it's just some readjustments that you have to do. But now they have the attack side, and they pull, what, seven rounds on a defense with no Sentinels? This is actually very, very confident right now for YFP on the attack. And I love here, big shout out here on whoever just got this. Was it Penny? Penny has an MIBR spray. They probably have the <laughs> cleanest classic right now in the VCTs. No Heck cap. Yeah. But YFP also could look strong on the offense. They have so many entry tools. Now just surging on in. Off of paint shells, dealing with the KJ Util in heaven. Just satcheling in. Planted. YFP get an easy quick plant with no kills. Forcing off oxygen from heaven. They're smoked off now that that's gone. Oxygen. Okay, running into the angle. Get up at the trailblazer. <laughs> Fights three at the ramp. And YFP got to watch. Mitch has one final flash, but wants this to be the one that ends YFP. And YFP just trying to hold their half of the site. Physic no longer there. And Dapper is holding the defuse. And Oxygen are backing him up. Oxygen, take pistol. Wow. That was such a nice little hold towards the end for OXG. They understood here the assignment that, okay, there's a lot of players for YFP. They're trying to take control of Heaven so they can play the Pulse Plant on the top. And once you take control of, okay, let's let's pretend to give them control here towards the uh, towards the A ramp. You mentioned that there's only one flash available for Mitch, but he throws a flash to the delay. They throw a snake bite to vulnerable some players, so they can't really run up ramp as quickly, so that OXG could control and uh, could take control of backside first, get that pick, and just stick the defuse. While the rest had to fight for their lives on what three players are on top there of A heaven. So that's nicely done. And then YFP now, despite the plant, I mean, they didn't they didn't take down that many players in the process, so they can't really go for a force buy and try to surprise their opponents. So they're just going to go for the tried and true eco rounds with two sheriffs in their end. Oh, it's actually Bones that has the MIBR classic. That's that's <laughs> dude. It's a nice classic. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but then again, I own like 16 of them. They're all nice classics. <laughs> well, I don't have any. I run the default. If I look like a noob, people will underestimate me. So, <laughs> YFP, True. though, will not be underestimated. They have, uh, make some noise at mid, get the smokes out of oxygen, and they head, and they're pinging all over B. Scuba better watch out. Wishing they'd play a bit closer, get full value out of the SMG, but they got a star, of course, right at B main, and some smoke assistance. But why is he quietly making their way in? And now Paint Shells as Scuba tries to pull off the star and gets the spike down. And Mitch comes in just in time. You got Redux from the sky with a judge. What the heck is happening? Yeah. Oxygen takes the win. And Scuba, you just saw it before he just got picked off too. That Those Paint Shells that was thrown towards the back of the side, he ate zero damage out of that one. So there was a little bit of a, a Paint Shell miss there being thrown by Bones on the attack to really try to suffocate Scuba as they're trying to go for... Uh, a poison orb flash play outside of B main. And that was just uh, the end of the story there. As you delay well enough here as scuba towards the back of the site, then it really gives a chance here for the rest of oxygen uh, esports to just rotate back from the top heavens and really tied the game quite easily. Thankfully though, this is a much lower buy that you have on the defense on the bonus round for OXG. It's a great way to capitalize it right now for YFP, but if they try to move towards mail, that's where it gets dangerous because Redux is currently there with a the judge. Yeah. So that really shuts down any type of like mid uh, mid take that you're trying to do here for YFP, unless your util is good. Two judges. Oh, this is my type of team. <laughs> There's just no, no touching B. Delete that but, gun. Or, or, or no touching mid, I should say. But sometimes YFP have gotten lucky just spraying through smoke and through vents, but not this time so luckily for yfp they're not gonna mess with the judges and if they set up far enough at a the judges won't be as impactful that's an opening pick for penny trailblazing their way onto the field oxygen's backline is getting hit too yfp going to the plant in heaven though is redux and uh, dapper gets discovered so yfp 
off a penny, take a huge win. That was pretty decent in the end for YFP, only losing two players in the process, but you saw the idea from Verno. ADS in down with the Bulldog, using the turret as an extra shield so that he could hopefully get an instant tap with the Bulldog long range and a burst shot for a kill. But as he gets instantly taken down, that changes the pace of YFP. The satchels came through from Bones, great satcheling being done to create that space on Heaven, uh, and it was an easy plan there towards the end for YFP. Yeah, they did a little bit of damage towards the end uh, for Oxygen with those judges. But uh, look at the economy. It was still very, very good here for the attacks out of YFP. So we'll have our full gun round uh, on yeah. both teams. And it took 16 rounds for it. Oh, jeez. You hear like one noise and everyone instantly started shooting. Phantom supremacy. Everyone, everyone relax. Okay. That flash from Mitch pinged someone at Orm, pinged someone at ramp. So Oxygen be careful and you can see that Mitch is distancing himself away from ramp expecting YFP to maybe come bursting in taking down the door kool-aid style but YFP have pivoted all the way to B where well scuba has a lot of stars and a lot of options to work with and it's always going to be the jiggle peak right you have the KJ playing towards the A side still no changes in terms of how you're running your util but this is different now for YFP. This time with guns towards the back of the site. Spike down. Unfortunate when your spike carrier is frontlining and gets picked and scuba relentless and Redux is just, just in time. But now over swinging oxygen gets punished in that case, but Penny can't escape and we're tied 8-8. Yeah, so I was I was trying to say that YFP was trying to do their eco round on that second one, trying to pop flash through the poison orb, trying to find space towards the back of the site. But this is the second time where it's a physic that's running through. Like, where's where's the satchel to help out? Where's the duelist? Where's the pain shells? I don't know if the pain shells were used early in the round, but there was a little bit less skew till trying to smother scuba towards that back. But you saw the counter util that came out. The sink fight on the ground as well from uh, from Dapper just makes it very yeah. difficult for YFP if they're not they clean and on point of the util to try to enter the site. Then it's definitely going to be OG's round on a defense. Now they're going to be on a half by Stingers, one sheriff, turret spots, Mitch trying to spam behind it. And sorry when I meant to say Verno ADSing through, it's Mitch this time around. But they don't, they're not able to connect with the kill. Ooh, this dog is going to discover all of YFP's plans, so they just have to storm the trenches. Oh my god, a 3k judge! Who, who plays here? Redux is an animal. YFP gets dismantled on going for plan B, should have stuck with plan A. And that's a round for Oxygen. And that's why I hate Split. I love Split, but I just hate Split when there's judges. I feel that, that just ruins well, you're the map. No fun. I, I'm, I'm absolutely no fun when it comes down to that. I want to see some clean Valorant, not some pop pop and events with like burst shots of uh, of the judge. And with those three kills, I mean, they have a showstopper to work with now for Redux. And this is once again, another very important uh, timeout now being called by Gogi. And you saw there, everybody's running through decays on top of that as well. That's 30, 30 that you're losing every single time on those drops. And it makes it a lot easier for Redux to clean up these kills. So. Uh, yeah, I, I feel at this point they gotta they gotta find opportunities here for YFP to maybe flush out where these angles are coming from. With anybody who's playing a judge, you need to use a little bit more util when you're gonna try to drop. I mean, if you're trying to triple swing in mail and you're not using a flash behind it, you might get owned by a judge. If you drop in <laughs> vents with no util behind it, you might get judged. And you d definitely saw that before by Redux. And on a map like Split, where mid control is super important at this point. They have to start using that util. And then even when they're going to try to enter towards B main with that orb play that they're currently doing here with Jonah 6, there's a judge that could be just on the entrance of that B site right at the orb. And that could do a lot of damage as well. This judge is so strong for counter entries uh, against the attack side that it's just annoying to watch. <laughs> but at least good for OXG if you're a fan there because now you have to lead by one. It's 9 to 8 on the scoreline. For you, hermanita. It's a good timeout to untilt too. This YFP are right on the edge of relegation. Every round, every map win matters. And YFP have gone so close to oxygen. And even if these are two O's, these are very exciting two O's if it is the case. Redux sees Util come his way. Pop the showstopper. Seekers crossing up. Everybody on this defense. Now showstopper to see if anyone's on site. Doesn't even look like YFP have made entry yet. So Redux is trying to relax, at least a little bit. As YFP uh, 
change their minds. Yeah, Seeker's uh, attempt to try to enter the A site was stopped by the showstopper that was popped out by Redux. So now you're going to have to try to use Util to reclear. You made a lot of noise rotating out towards uh, sewers and already there. That's one flash being used. There's no dog towards the top. They're pivoting towards B, so they might try to use that Util there and maybe try to finish in that spot. But all this is just to throw a flash to try to sell a fake. I think they might start rotating out towards mid or maybe even towards spawn and finish once again on a re-hit towards the A site. But that's going to run that clock down by a lot here and you still have three players from OXG on the east side. And Physic is out of util. Um, got the Trailblazer, but didn't put it deep enough into B to see if in uh, the left corner. Anyone in back B? Like, so now YFP have to pivot back towards A. Heaven is still a problem. They have Oxygen playing all the way at the back of the side, but Verno is just spraying through the smoke, being so annoying. But YFP have 12 seconds left. They got to get this done quickly. They got left. the kills to clear the site. Physic will be protected there by Jonah. And look who's traveling around here. Thief in heaven. Has so many entryways to watch. You get the timing here on the dapper. He does. And you can always rely on Thief at the top. One versus three for Scuba. Now there's a crossfire sword that he has to worry about knowing that Thief is in heaven. And as the wall oh, comes nice. down, it's just better timing out of YFP. Yeah, wall out, try to get the extremity on one side. When the wall drops, they go for a triple swing back. And even if they don't see him towards that from sight, then they know that he pivoted towards the back of sight at elbow. So that was a nice little 3v1 play there by YFP on the pulse spine. Although, I'm actually quite surprised how they were still able to move inside that A site. They had three players from OXG on one side. They had the utility from uh, Scuba that was, that was being thrown on main to slow them down. They had you no know, util, no flashes, there. yet the power of bodies and the power of trades won them that round there for YFP. So great fundamentals. Now change of pace, trying to aggress very quickly towards B main, forcing out an early grab well uh, from Scuba. Now just spraying through the smoke, YFP. We'll get this orb and the showstopper for Bones. And they've had issues dealing with Scuba who plays at the back site, and that showstopper would have had his name on it, but YFP never go for the obvious move. They really like to draw draw our time down to zero. Whole team seems like <laughs> yeah. they're, they're very they're very very um, meticulous, uh, if I could put it that way, when they're trying to work this map here on split. Again, I think it makes sense. We talked about how annoying it was to play against the judges here at OXG, and look how uh, look how far back you're starting to these dogs, too. You're not playing close into the corner, so you're going to get less spacing, less information on the top of heaven, but the main gist is to clear out towards mail. It works out. They get the shot there. You might pop flash and try to get something, but they need a smoke on vents. Nothing's really covering so far. It's a paranoia instead. Ooh, little bunny hop over the paint show. This is the showstopper and... Of course, the Sky Utility pressuring the top of heaven as the Oxygen B-side holders do their best to dent into YFP. Now the late rotators from Mitch and Verno coming from A won't be able to prevent the plant, but can they salvage the round? Winner of this gets a lead. Now Penny and Thief just <laughs> fighting over who gets to sit on top of the barrel. Verno. Oh, it's not a great, not a great start when you just come into the site and you don't see anyone so they can only be two places b main in that back corner high low setup from yfp mitch nice takes care of physic and the flash exchange and penny punches up with the double kill yfp get the lead oh my god that was such a nice way to play the 2v3 the nano swarm to just make sure you break one of the crosshairs and then the other one's like probably watching it oh my god i gotta break that and then you use that timing to get the first pick and then you had a flash. I was going to mention there was still a flash available there for Mitch. And if that actually full one at both players and he actually swung that um, better here for OXG, maybe it could have been a different story. But you see the idea. He actually had the full blind there onto that onto Thief, but unfortunately not onto. I think that was Penny at the top, right? So with Penny being not fully blinded, Mitch couldn't really figure out which target he could have taken. And maybe that's why Vernal kind of stayed back because he just wanted to make sure that he could maybe try to get the trade on a 1v1 if Mitch was guaranteed one kill. Vernal looks like he's fighting under an earthquake right now. His monitor is shaking nonstop. So is he nervous in this game? Maybe. And maybe <laughs> Bonkar as well, which is why he's pulling out this, this last time out for OXG as the scoreline's 10-9 to 9 for YFP. Dude, there's either a sick... Rager going down downstairs, or the wind is more important than an earthquake. 
<laughs> or shaky leg syndrome. I don't know. But now that both timeouts have been expended from both teams, we're going to determine if we're going into a deciding map of Lotus or will Oxygen remain as the second seed of Group A and put fear into the eyes of YFP, who uh, are just right on the edge of relegation, as I mentioned. But after this timeout from Oxygen, see if they can stop this ramp push out of YFP. The judge! Oh, it's time for fun! Double kill from Mitch, but a beautiful leer from Penny. Try and fight back against this as YFP shift away from ramp with only two people left. At least Jonah will be healed. You see what I mean? You get at the perfect plays, the perfect reads. You're going to call a timeout and try to... Uh, I mean, I guess it was OSG's timeout, but at the same time, YFP's using timeout, that timeout to your advantage. And then they get met by Judge, and Mitch gets two kills out of it. And now they have a disadvantage for YFP. I mean, what, what, what more do you want me to say in terms of color commentary? They tried to move <laughs> up a ramp. They got judged. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, there, there's just so much map control right now from OSG. Look how pushed up we are towards B main. All they could do right now is just play reactionary. They're going to give a lot of responsibility onto Verno. Oh, that spike. He just saw the person drop here as he was trying to move through. And Physic at least will manage to stay alive and get the plant safe. YFP know yeah. where Scuba, Verno, and Redux are. Redux was spotted at ropes. Of course, Verno at the back site and Scuba close to in heaven. So YFP off of this information. Physic low can at least be the first one to spot this out the pit has to live jonah emerges out of the safety of his cocoon oh. and foils the round for yfp oxygen will defuse and tie we'll take that if you're gonna lose against two judges and then you get the victory from a boom bot to tie up the game you'll take it cheese for cheese but again beautiful actually not, not again but a nice little pick towards the end and drop that uh, the viper spit quite early there uh against uh, against yfp so at least you'll savage that round as well you made what three players still alive two players still alive off that last engagement so this is going to give you a little bit of confidence here because you're still going to be able to come out with a much stronger buy than your opponents have yfp only have a stinger to work with they are one orb away of getting Seekers too, though, but it's not really leaning out to where it's easier for them to take orb. It's actually a uh, physic holding in towards side so they could actually get a flash on the top and take control of a, a ramp early. Oh no, physic just got spammed oh. through. Okay, we'll take right. those. We'll take those. <laughs> this SMG spray through the smoke. Hope for the best. Scuba just goes unnoticed. Then Redux dominates at the top. Of B here. YFP. Ooh, thief. Hidden in the smoke against Scuba, who's just been a wall when it comes to protecting B. And just the backup that Scuba has at protecting B has been beautiful to watch. Oh, and just defense and Rita just gets down, to walk B. at Thief. Spike is down and Bones, as the element of surprise, was hoping to get into a high ground position to help overwatch this, but. Oxygen up by around now. Yeah, man, I was going to say just before that kill happened, the, the first blood that came out from YFP side, which is Bones' stinger, they were trying to get that orb on the A side for uh, Physic, and he got, just got sprayed through the Viper orb, uh, a Viper wall rather. And that was just unfortunate, and which really didn't give a chance here for YFP to set up and try to utilize the Seekers, to try to move inside the site. They were losing their players on one extremity, and then like, okay, we got to up the tempo towards the B site, but it didn't give a chance here for the mid uh, for the mid kill to create more of a diversion for them to enter towards the site. And OHG was just able to get the um, the easier round there. So at five for YFP, they are trying to run behind the Seekers just to close the gap. Showstopper. <laughs> Showstopper spikes in the corner. Redux gets out with 5 HP and sets no up way. Dapper down for a multi kill. Who maybe shouldn't have dropped in that. Nonetheless, YFP down to two. Have the Empress. Got Penny. The Goat. Thief trying to plant. See if anyone from Oxygen wants to emerge. A Trailblazer and two flashes. A lot of options out of Oxygen. And knowing they need to go the distance against YFP. I don't know if they really need to use the old stab. Of course not. Not with all the util. Easy cleanup out of oxygen. Yeah. We'll go to match point. 
Still use the Seekers, though, just to confirm the route. We'll take that, right? OSG has sure. been falling behind throughout the first half. They're 0 and 4 starting off the game, and now they're at the brink of winning the first map, which is also their map pick, right? So if they were losing that map against YFP, it would have been uh, a lot of confidence for YFP moving into the second map. So you're making sure here that you're confirming the rounds, making sure you, you, you don't come into any surprises of where the last two players are positioned inside this A site. And uh, you, you're able to guarantee this round. And even them using the Seekers, I mean, they still have a pit and a lockdown available for a number 23, which is going to make it very difficult here for YFP to try to salvage something and try to force this into overtime. You're already seeing here they're going to force out an early pit on middle uh, coming out from Dapper. And even Boombot, that starts down early as well, just to see if it's going to get shot. Now they realize that there's going to be a little bit of pressure on mid to start things off. YFP are going to go for the Hail Mary. All players rotating over towards this B site. And they're going to do another attempt here to try to take down Scuba in the back of Billboard, in the back of Default. And can they succeed this time around with more players alive after? What a mountain to overcome for YFP in terms of ults that they have to face. Now Smoke's in their way, Stars, Cosmic Divide, Lockdown. Like Oxygen got plan A, B, C, all the way to Z. But YFP want to be aggressive. They won't go down without a fight. It will be with a roar. And Bo Bones opens up B and guides the spike into position. Physic plants at the corner. This is dangerous. Uh, you don't have control of heaven. But Penny will catch Mitch. Empress activated there for Penny. Redux 1 wa HP. And, uh, watching the flank. Oh! Bruno gets away with that. Thief there for the trade. A good round for YFP. One to go the distance against Oxygen. There's the paranoia from Thief just to shake up top of B here and put the smoke down. Redex is maybe happy with this type of cover. One enemy remaining. But Oxygen still have to defuse and YFP just waiting for the ducks. Or I should say the birds to leave the, the nest. And Redex will just get away with his gun. Yeah. This is an important gun to save, too, because you can maybe drop a weapon here for Dapper so you can get full util. So Spike's going to go off. Nobody's going to hunt him down. So that's at least that a silver lining at that point. And that was a beautiful kill for our trade. You mentioned that flank from Verno. If Verno actually got that pick, that was a lockdown for them to retake towards the site, too. It would have been difficult here for YP to get things done, uh, at least on, on the post plant. But none of that worked in the favor of OXG. Some beautiful shots coming out from YFP. And I love the pathing that they used, right? They tried to continue with an orb flash, but this time instead of working the back of the billboard, they went for the pathing from orange all the way towards new box, which allowed for them to get the opener onto, uh, onto Scuba. So that's a great way to potentially bring this into OT. But interesting enough, round 24, you're pulling out a knot. Sure. Once you get rid of all the util from YFP, or at least try to dodge it, trying to shoot through the wall, but no contact on the Redux. Thankfully for YFP, who obviously didn't know the op was there. Exactly. Gonna not walk into it. That was a very, very nice call to not overextend there into B main, because you definitely saw that there was an opportunity for a free kill with that op from Redux, and they had to re-pivot it quite early in this round. Although it hasn't been shot yet, so this is a, still a great opportunity for OHG to rotate the op somewhere. It's currently watching towards mid from mail. White Bees looking to re-hit towards B site, though, and there's only Scuba in B. And this op from Redux, though, will be watching Cover over B. So this is still a dangerous position. Three now of Oxygen ready for this push. This YFP and noise at B main. There's a teleport from Thief to check the back in. Scuba gets found. Here's the opening for YFP. Four versus two. Mitch and Verno with a lockdown available. One flash left. for Mitch. The plant successful out of YFP. Trying to heal everybody to full. YFP will play from B main. Yeah, and you'll play Pulse Plants too. You'll take it because this Null Command now being used, or sorry, the Lockdown, sorry, be used by Verno is not going to do anything. Everybody's just playing long range at the spike. We're definitely going into overtime this time around. So nice there for YFP. We talked about the amount of util that was needed there for YFP on the execution towards this B site. And they use Snake Bites towards that default spot to not allow here OXG to really swing out for the kills. So they flood the site perfectly. Right they now. get the plant, oh, and now they'll just play the time. At least Verno gets one for the road. He's gonna go down with the ship. And YFP will get out. And yeah, 12-12 overtime.
Map three Switching in sides. our sights. Oh, YFP have uh, denied what looked like an obvious win out of Oxygen just based on how many ults they had near kind of the end of this game, but it's anyone's game now. Definitely. Uh, another one of those clean slates to continue on the night here for the Knights North American Challengers and YFP, at least. We, we've always mentioned OHG being one of the top dogs right now in a top three. And YFP, that was having like a, a, a nice victory in week number one, slow towards the mid because they're trying to integrate Thief right now in the roster. And now it seems pretty decent right now. You know, they, they come up with something different in terms of their composition. They're able to add a lot of uh, uh, firepower with Thief. They're using double duelists this time around, no Sentinels, although this is where they struggled a, a little bit. Well, actually, they didn't really struggle that much, right? They got five rounds on the defensive side with no Sentinels. So they're in a pretty good spot to maintain right now the pressure against OXG. Is the start a flash down towards a ramp, a jump spot towards mid. They have some information on middle. But I don't know that this is supposed to be a last second lean towards the A site. But remember when they were doing last second leans towards the A site? There was actually Physic and Penny just owning it up. And Oxygen. Kind of a 2-1-2 two, two split. Oxygen getting hit by flashes at A ramp. An opening pick here onto Physic would be everything for Oxygen to take control of A. This Penny has all the util, of course, to defend themselves. Is Reyna a very selfish agent in that regard? But Oxygen, once the smokes have cleared from mid, have to slowly and quietly work their way maybe down ropes or up ropes, I should say, to help pinch into heaven with... Well, I was going to say with Verno, but now that they have that covered... Oxygen going to plan to take. Here is the entry. Oxygen trying to hunt down where Penny is. And oh. Physic tried to be, well, hidden in the corner. And wait for the perfect moment to strike. And now fumble. Two man advantage for Oxygen with the spike planted. And the winds continue to accumulate for Oxygen as Dapper dominates heaven. Two at the top side there, Bones and Jonas. Only a satchel to work with, and a mistimed swing gives Oxygen the Zenny Flawless. Oh, that's a great way to start the overtime for Oxygen. But there was a slight split-second decision right there from Physic, where he was trying to maintain trigger discipline right here, trying to line up those two kills. The satchels made it a little bit difficult for him to try to focus on those two kills, and that extra hold actually was a disadvantage for YFP because that's how Jonah, uh, sorry, that's how Penny got picked off and that's how he got killed by Vernal running through because he waited a little bit too long. And that ends up being costly. They're one round behind and also uh, map point rather for OXG in this series. As YFP now switching things over. Double duelist composition we mentioned again that they found some good value in because that's how they were able to push this over into an overtime. Hey, the Trailblazer, even throwing a, I think it was a Leer? No, maybe not. But YFP were trying to play off of that Trailblazer. Oxygen will take any damage. They will not be shaken from their position. Holding firmly onto mid, but YFP giving that up. Now that the smokes keep regenerating, going to go somewhere where they can actually see. Oh, hearing that drop, maybe. Inferno still gets two for his efforts. The head's just lining up easily like that. YFP, man down, but won't go down without a fight. And YFP just catches Mitch from behind. YFP saves the plant. Redux with a boom block. Trying to play off of contact, but foils that. And it's up to Scuba in a one versus three. As Penny on a rampage, three kills this round. Now that that Viper wall comes down there. Scuba has vision. Here's someone stomping below, and it was all just a ruse, just bait. As YFP match it up 13 13. And you're mentioning it was Penny that really stepped up to the plate oh, on that time. round. I mean, 4K in that round, but three to open up the site. Even doesn't even matter if he's going to eat a flash by Mitch. Turns away on time to only be half blinded and still continue to push forward towards elbow to get the backstab kill. And and you mentioned you want to get a little bit more visibility. Verno gets two kills to start things off, but because they had so many players from YFP, you saw the instant trades coming out uh, right after, and that's Penny. I mean, they're 
utilizing him as not the first entry because they have bones to be able to do that with satchels if need it be. And then he could just be, again, that janitor that you mentioned, the, the cleanup uh, for the rest of the team. And he's doing that quite well. So I, I'm loving this this little double duelist play that's being utilized by YFP. And it doesn't have to be a double dive, right? There is There's really only bones that's utilized for that. And then the rest comes down to death balls, fundamentals, and trades. And it's a beautiful plan being set up by Gogi so far. Just seeing how willing YFP are to extend when you can just play off of contact with the Verno turret. You see Physic with the Trailblazer in the ramp. Oxygen usually like to use their own Trailblazer in mid, but just apparently have baited YFP into looking at A so much that this could be a favorable pinch for Oxygen. If they can get into heaven fast enough, but this forces YFP off the site and all the way back there. Ooh. I think they might have heard the fall back towards the A site, so that engages OSG to pivot towards B. Already have an instant rotate, but these anchors on B site have to come up huge. The flash paint shell redux leads the way, spraying before he even sees where the threat is. He removed the two defenders as Oxygen still have Jonah to deal with, and now the plant could be free. Physic has no flashes, only Last Penny to rely huge. on who's late Spike to the party. So Physic goes one and one, makes the job easier. 1v3 for Penny. Cut all the hell planted. Clear comes out, and Penny couldn't get anything done. They needed to anchor those uh, those two players on site. They had to get at least one each or something like that to give a chance for the rotate to happen. So nice here for oxygen to just be very quick to to answer back on the in, initial engagement that came out from yfp and that's the game plan as we mentioned before sometimes on a defense because you don't have a sentinel you have to try to aggress and they tried to do so by just at least trying to shut down oxygen on the continuous a side flash double satchel into a ramp that's that they've been using quite often and the round that you're trying to flash out and try to get info out there, it's they're still playing out towards spawn and holding that area. So that's a nice little counter here from OXG to a nice little call coming out here from uh, from Mitch to just tell the, the team to just slow down for a bit and we'll just try to figure it out as we go through the map. And now YFP is going to be forced to time out once again at a disadvantage against OXG. See, the earthquake has calmed down, and that's exactly what the point of this timeout is. YFP, when they go the distance into overtime, like thinking about their sunset map against Core last week, went 16-14, and they they choked at the end. And this is, oh, okay, the earthquake is starting again. So <laughs> YFP just have to calm down and play their game, not look at the scoreline. They've been able to match Oxygen shot for shot, but constantly having to play from behind, and now on match point, series point, it's... A really stressful yeah. position to be in. And this is where YFP just have to trust each other on this. And they hear a little bit of noise, so they know there's at least players on the A ramp. And that's Verno jump spotting. Unfortunately, Crosshair placement wasn't there to try to punish that right away. But YFP do a good job to just slowly break down KJ Util. Scout Normal Trailblazer from Physic in mid. Just to see who could be in vent. Is that an option for YFP to crunch from mid into A? Not really getting any info from there. So Physic has to join the team so that this last flash that he has can help the entry. There. YFP have, of course, a lot of options, even with the Leer. Yeah. And the satcheling in from Bones. This is a different setup, right? They have the scuba plane towards the A side. They can get ready for suck. Nano Swarmane paint shells on top of that. Satchel out. Wow. Even with Bones getting on top of that box, Redux. It's the, the headshot still, and YFP down now a. down oh. to only one member, Standard. and it's just Defender over like win. that. The entry denied, and Oxygen take the series. I felt that was one of those moments there where you would have had Penny just start owning it up towards the ace out again, but it came down to a nice 180 from Verno to actually just shut everybody, everybody down. And look at everybody. I think they're just they're just running quickly to go to a bathroom because that was that was a really long first match. Yeah. Jeez, and it was really close. And we said, yeah, maybe we're getting 2-0 vibes from these matches, but it's still very, very close score lines. Like every half we've casted has been has been 6-6. Six, six. And now we we went into overtime where, yeah, yeah everyone might have predicted oxygen. But YFP put up a seriously good fight based on just, you know, how last week went. 
Yeah, definitely. That's them just working things out and then trying to figure out how they could really counter it against or Oxygen Gaming's or Oxygen Esports, sorry, a composition and play style on that map of split. And they definitely came in studying. But unfortunately, uh, when they had that lead, it kind of just slipped towards the end. They had to fight back for the OT. And when we got into those OT rounds, they couldn't have that much strong of a defense like they did uh, on the first half that they played. So that's unfortunately the end. And the end of the show, but I want to say hi to Sierra because uh, maybe not. I will say hi to Sierra after <laughs> the break because she has to get her interviewee ready. So we'll see you after this.